Okay, hey, hey people. So they were making some laundry detergent. I'm only gonna show the basket because I am not done all up to be showing myself. So <laughs> the first thing we're gonna start with is pure baking soda. I'm gonna use this entire package. Um, this was already pre-used as my laundry detergent. We just ran out. So I should open some of this stuff first. You might hear my little kids in the background. Mm -hmm. Oh. What? I'm gonna use the whole entire box. Mm -hmm. My hands might be ashy, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> we just put the whole thing in there. There was smoke coming out. Yeah. It's not smoke, it's just powder. And I kind of like let the like, like, like to shift it while I'm doing it. Next thing I'm gonna do is put my Arm & Hammer laundry booster. You can wear a mask when you're doing this, only because the powder typically goes anywhere, everywhere. And when you're sensitive to certain things, you might find yourself sniffling. I'm gonna use two boxes of this. Whoa! Where's the last box? Thank you. It's so heavy. This really helps with getting those stains out. I and have lots of rocks. Oh, no, 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 sit on it. And this laundry, this laundry powder should last you a good six months, three to six months, yeah. depending yeah. on yeah. your favorite size and how often yeah. you need it. The next thing I'm going to use is some borax. I'm only going to do one box for right now. And I'm going to see how big of the mixture is going to be before I use the second box. And with this one, it is machine uh, machine safe for all machines. So you always want to make sure you look for that. So that way you don't get anything that might mess up your machine. Um, but with this detergent, this homemade detergent, it is an old school method. So honestly, um, any machine can use it. You can even inside. use it to hand wash your stuff. No, I don't need that one yet, babe. And you know, more acid, you can use it for your laundry, uh, your bathroom, and your kitchen. No. This works excellent to flush out any toxins or um, debris that's in your toilet, as well as works amazing as a homemade cleaner. I can, I have some homemade cleaners. Um, maybe I'll use that extra box and I'll kind of show you how the cleaners that I personally make. Yeah. Now this one? No, I don't need that one, baby. Now this? Yes. Thank you. Next thing I'm gonna use is the OxyClean. I have about three box, three of them. I'm not gonna use all three. I'm gonna use this one and um, this other one that's free of dyes. Sorry, I am super ashy. <laughs> You can always keep these two, so that way you can put your um, homemade washing powder in. I already have another container that I like to keep it in, where it's um, just a little bit more clear, and I'll show this the container. One now. No, not that one. The next thing we're gonna use is the Oxy Free. Okay, clean. Yeah, back up, back up, back up, back up. I see the color of it. I know. We're gonna show the color of it. Is white. Oh, this one. This one. No, no, no. I don't need, I don't need that one. Yet. You don't need this and this. How about this? now this? Um, uh, one second, not yet. So now what I'm gonna do is take a scooper and just kind of move it in. I mean, you can always shake the box up. Um, you want to use a container that does have these, so that way you can shake it really good. You want all the ingredients to really, really mix into there. And this scooper, you want to keep it so that way you can use it to scoop. So now, because my kids want me to use this first, I'm using my favorite scent, which is the Gain Moonlight Breeze. The Gain Moonlight Breeze? Yes, the Gain Moonlight Breeze. <laughs> I didn't know that I was a Gain Moonlight Breeze. Yeah. Is this Gain Moonlight Breeze? 
this one is too. No, that's something different, babe. So, look, it has a G and an A and the I and the I and the N. Yeah, that's game, but it's a different, different scent. It's a different game. You want to make sure you just set boosters. It's gonna really, really, really give the laundry turf a really good smell. Yes. Yep. I'm also gonna use the Danny Bliss. I really, really like yeah. this one for my bed sheets. So that's why I like to mix it with this. All this stuff is laundry detergent, laundry safe for yeah, pretty one, much any machines. You just want to make sure that you look for the sign if you have an older machine. This one, um, and it'll let this you know. one did not. Yes. This one. And with those laundry no, boosters, you can also mix it in some hot, hot water in a spray bottle and make your own free breeze, yeah. which is something that I typically then, do with the, uh, nope, nope. with the down calm. The down, downy calm um, scent boosters because it just makes it smell so good. The next thing I'm going to use is, sorry, is the Gain Aroma. Um, this one is laundry curtain safe. I like to use this one in just to kind of bring everything together. I should have opened up some of this stuff first. Now be careful, okay? I got my two health for today. <laughs> put so many. Can I put some more right here? No, because I don't want you to uh, make a mess. Oh, plus just a little bit. Just a little bit. No, not a little bit. Yes. Mm. No. Yes. Oh, just a little, little, little. Just a little. Just a little. Yeah, it's the most. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm gonna pour this whole bag in there. Piece of cardboard got in there. I got some. All right, put it back in there. Everything's about to be start smelling really, really good. Don't dip. Yep. And the last and final thing before we shake this whole bottle up. And then this. This is the hard work. We're going to be using. I thought we're gonna use. Are we gonna use this last? Two, I'm actually gonna use three of these. Now I'm gonna keep those for next time. I'm gonna be using three of these. Lord, my hand is so ashy, sorry y'all. I'm gonna be using uh, three of these. They are Pure Rex Fell Snap Bars. They um, help with getting a lot of those stains out. They are safe for any um, for any uh, machine. And you can also take out hours by four. And then the fourth one I just use in laundry to just kinda go over and stain a little bit more. No, no, no. Put this stuff in. Let me finish up the video. Thank you so much for helping. I'm going to eat your oranges. You want to make sure you have a cheese grater um, so that way you can uh, shred it in today. Thank you, Good Genesis. All right, y'all, go eat your oranges. I can't open it. I can't open it. I can't open it because I have, I just have so much of chemicals. You don't want me to put it. Wait, can I see what it's inside? Can I see it? Yes. It's the same bar, laundry bar stuff. But I don't see it. This is it. So you're just going to take it and you're going to... Wow, yellow. Yeah. Right, I would do that. And this is going to take me some time. I would do that. And this is going to take me some time. To do so, I'm not going to show the entire thing, yeah. Okay, well. but I'm going to show you just want to keep doing it. I like to use a medium grater, yeah. I'm gonna get those because I'm doing so many of them, I'm not going to show y'all the entire <laughs> process. Um, but I will show y'all me shaking it back. Doesn't that look like cheese, y'all? But it's not cheese. It's not food. <laughs> Looks like cheese chocolate. And this mixture smells so, so good. Wait, I smell it. No. I smell it. I don't want you to smell it so up close, though, babe. You're going to smell it tonight when I wash your sheets. Ow. So I made this just in time for Sunday, because Sunday is the day that I do my laundry. I do understand that Sunday is the Lord's Day, but... 
Sunday is also my self care day to make sure my laundry detergent, my laundry is done and folded and prepped and hung. <laughs> I am not one of those people that just lets laundry hang because so it's gonna much. be so much. It gets more and more and more throughout the week mm. if you just let it sit. Mm -hmm. That's so much. Yeah. So like I said, I'm gonna use um, two more bars. And then the fourth bar I'm going to use for heavy stains. And then this one? No, I'm not going to use that, babe. I'm not going to use this one. Yeah. Because Sorry that my hands are so ashy, you guys. Like, <laughs> I'm going to do better. I really am. I just wanted to kind of show you this in the morning before I get ready for work. Um, I was supposed to make it yesterday, but... Hey, yesterday was my date night with my husband, so I decided to go out. Now you done with that one? And you want to just be careful so that way you don't get your nails, especially if you have nails. And I'm gonna show. I'm gonna go ahead and shake it up for you guys. I'm gonna cut. So, I wanna put the lid on top. And you just want to grip it really good and shake, shake, shake. And then it gives all of this. I know. It's, it gets really heavy, so you want to make sure you shake it as much because it's a lot. Typically, if you shake it as you're mixing it, it works a lot better. So that way, certain products doesn't sit on top. And then do one second. Now I'm just uh, after this, I do store this somewhere secure away from my kids. Um, and then I just use this smaller bottle to fill it with it. It's an OXO um, airtight container. So with this, we just press it to seal the, seal the good smells in. And it works perfectly. And I'll just keep this container in my laundry. So this is what it looks like. Um, it looks Thank you so much for watching. I promise the next time I don't wear lotion in our videos. Um, but I'm gonna continue to try up this spell snap and um, continue to mix it. I'm probably gonna get my husband to mix it though. Um, and I may, I'm probably gonna add me one more thing of scent boosters in, just to give it a little bit more color. Yes, babe, I'm gonna use it in a second. So yeah, so that's my video. You can also get a large, um, I have a large spatula that I don't really use for cooking, and I also use it to stir. Thank you, babe. Cookie spoons. It is a fun project to make. I would say um, it would, this is gonna last you a good three to six months. It's an amazing laundry detergent. I think it's better than liquid detergent. It gets all the stains. It's very gentle if you have kids. Um, I've also used this. Uh, my babies, when I had newborns, they never had any reactions, and my kids have eczema. And I find that this mixture helps them with their eczema a lot better versus other detergents. So I'm just going to keep mixing it and mixing it um, until it's done. And I'm going to go ahead and shred up these next two bars of fell snap or fell snap books. I don't know how to pronounce it. And then we're going to just put it into our um, container and I'll show you guys what the container looks like. So anyways, have a good day. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I do like to post some in spa, not sorry, not in spa, but non spa things on our channel just because more people are interested in their home. And this also works great for if you do have a spa. This is an excellent, excellent cleaner, cleaner for your towels. It's very gentle on the skin and it just smells so amazing. Your clients will notice. <laughs> I've had clients want me, I've had clients wanting to purchase this powder. Um, it's really easy to make. I'm not gonna sell something like this. Um, but this is really easy to make and it's a fun project to do with the family. Of course, if you're gonna use little kids, just make sure they have um, some protective gear because again, it is chemicals. But yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Chi underscore yugo artistry chi underscore ugo artistry thank you and have a good one